Hey guys, I'm out in the garage today. It's a gorgeous 70 degrees, sunny. I've got a table, a corner table to fix. Uh, my friend slash client gave this to me and she asked me to spray paint everything black except for the painting that she did. This was her very first attempt at wet on wet acrylic. And she wanted to keep it, it's been years. So the first thing we did was we found all the little spots that needed to have little replacement parts. And then I measured from I measured from uh, here out and from here to here. And then I did the same thing on the other side. And then I created a template that will lay in here just like this. And then I will spray paint and we're going to spray paint, it, spray paint it black. And then after that's done, then we're going to put resin on the, the shelves. So I'm going to spray the back of my template with this spray mount removable or repositional adhesive. You use this for stencils and things like that. So that's what I'm going to use to get that tacky. And then I'll begin spray painting. So I'll be back in just a second. After that dries, I'll peel that paper off, revealing the paint job that she did, and then we'll have to take it downstairs to do the resin. All right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, uh, I'll show you the drip that I made. Oh, I, have a, I have a couple of them. And my wonderful husband, Terry, is gonna stand while I hold the camera. W wished I could use a power one. <laughs> So we're just using a sanding block. Uh, he's using the coarse grit one. And when we spray painted it yesterday, it ran. And so we let it dry. Don't touch it if you get a run. Just let it dry and then you can come back and sand it. Oh, there's still one some right there. So that's what we do there and then we'll wipe that down and we'll give it a spray let it dry again and then we'll take it down into the basement and where I, I do my resin work and then we will do the shelves okay so here is the finished piece it's had I don't know how many top coats this thing was a curse <laughs> I couldn't get it to not collect lint in the basement, so we brought it out to the garage. Um, I put a top coat on it outside, and then there were bugs getting in it. I, I was watching it, but I thought after two hours it was okay. And it wasn't. So then I tried the polishing process. That was a disaster. So I took what was left of the stone coat that uh, Connie gave me, and I tried to get it as best as I could. It's not perfect because I didn't have enough to actually give it a good thick coat. So I've been babysitting it for two hours. I'm going to sit out here for another two. I'm starving. But anyways, we're going to keep an eye on it and make sure that the bugs don't get in it. And I learned something really important. If a bug lands in it and your resin is tacky, you want to take a torch and heat up that resin, then pick the bug out, and then torch it again, and then that, that resin will flow back together. Otherwise, you're gonna do more damage if you don't. At least that's what I have come across. So anyway, this is it. It's going to back to its home. When this is cured, 
I hope she's okay with what it looks like. It's not perfect. I'll show you. Right here, right. See that distortion right there at the. Let's see if I can hold this camera. It's right here. There's a distortion in it. Anyway. Till next time. Love you. Bye bye.